I've scanned the leaf for any hidden clues or invisible ink. Nothing. <laughs> and I think I may be allergic. Ooh, Em. You only get your microscope out when it's serious business. What are we looking at? How do you drop this outside the elevator? I think it might be a clue as to what she's up to. One clue? It's a strange thing to find in Maywood Glen. It's a piece of a banana leaf. Unless your sister went out for Guatemala and tamales with ancho chili sauce wrapped in banana leaves, I've got nada. Did y'all know the banana is naturally radioactive because of the potassium content and the teeny amounts of potassium 40? Are you suggesting my sister might be radioactive? Don't fret. <laughs> the levels are insignificant. Not like she's gonna start glowing in the dark. <laughs> Good afternoon, agents. Hoping for a progress report. Well, I did restock the fridge with your cold-pressed green juice. Nicely done. But I was referring to the three T's. Our latest suspect is Elite's lighting engineer. Cameron Breyer on it. And we were just discussing this harmless piece of a banana leaf. Same one I noticed on your nightstand, Agent McAllister. Maddie dropped it when we saw her in the hotel. Which I forgot to mention. Sorry. But we did see those banana leaves down at the Maywell Glen docks. Which means your sister might have been down at the docks. The same docks where the three T's are arriving. Your colleagues are raising a very interesting possibility. Which I refuse to believe. There's no way Maddie could be involved with the three T robberies. Is that Agent McAllister talking or a worried sister? I adore them both, but this is definitely worried sister. <laughs> Salud. Well, here's what I think. Maybe Maddie was trying to leave us a clue. Maybe she really is in danger. We're going down to the docks, so whatever the truth is, we're gonna get some answers. Right, good idea. <laughs> you know what you need to do. And I know you guys are giving me that Michaela's got it all wrong look. <laughs> Don't be you silly. You got it all wrong. Meaning, you've got it all wrong that we think you've got it all wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking. I've repurposed my original Cam's cat cam with Cam's catch a criminal cam. You don't know what I had to do to get it off the cat. Now we just have to get it on that grainy. Follow my lead. My gosh, I'm so sorry. I told my friend Cam a million times not to ride that thing inside because you never know when someone's gonna take a left when you thought that they were gonna take a right, and then they take that left and you take a right and boom. Uh, don't worry, I'm I'm fine. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Camera planted. Now wherever he goes, we go. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, uh, taste testers! Hurry up and drink this while it's still ever resting in liquid form. Really think she could help us? Duh. Remember her exploding cream puffs from the science fair? She could whip up anything. I'm calling it AG's pink drink. Safety first. Careful. I don't want curiosity to kill the can. Hmm. Tastes like chocolate chip cookie dough and a glass of milk. Pass. I just whiten my teeth. It's a secret recipe passed down from my grandma. She's known as the best culinary chemist in Spain. Culinary chemist? That's a thing? Yes, of course it is. Adri, 
Do you want to help us with a top secret investigation? Secret investigation? You mean like Mission Impossible? Uh, yeah, like Mission Impossible. Oh, I love those movies. When I was little, I used to watch them all the time. I even told my parents I wanted to work for the Centro Nacional de Inteligencia. It's like the CIA in Spain. Know anything about lifting fingerprints? Hmm. 1.5 million dollars, an exorbitant amount of money by any account for a vacation. But the Prince Xander of Canterbury, known throughout social media as the Trillionaire Prince, is another extreme stunt that has him yet again in the international spotlight. It's totally awesome! As the impending launch looms, the Prince appears ever more carefree about the possible mortal danger. Now's our chance. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see your pretty little feet there. We haven't met. I'm Adrian Adams. Adrian, wanna do lunch sometime? I'm such a foodie. I know all the fanciest places to eat in this town. There's like two, but they're fabulous. again. Can't seem to hold on to my supplies around you. Weird, huh? Uh, that's my pen. Uh, you don't want this pen. It got sticky from the sticky ground. But I like sticky things. Sticky glue, sticky notes, sticky rice, sticky tape, sticky sticks. <laughs> uh, so here, take mine. Um, Okay. A really disgusting idea. Ugh. Guys, it's Lazarus's trash. If we dig through it, we could find some clues. Michaela, I never would have thought of you as the dig through garbage type. Bet. I just wish you had given me a chance to change out of my new heels. They're Mew Mew. At least they were. Look what I found. Who would want to throw these away? I mean, would. They're not really my style. Haters. Hey, Cam, can we use this for a water-powered car? I was kind of hoping that we jumped off that water-powered car cliff. No way. I will take Justin down at the tech fair. Nice find, Adri. Except it's a carburetor. They used to be a big part of internal combustion engines, but have been replaced in the car industry by fuel injectors. You have no idea what she's talking about, do you? No, I just want to go home and take a hot bubbly bath with it. Check it out. It's an issue of Cat Fancy Magazine addressed to a Mr. Carson Lazarus. She must get that a lot. Lazarus has a cat. Let's find out. I like to call it Cameron's cat camera to follow a cat around the house device. You know, I think I'm learning the drill. Killer with inventions, bad with names. Well, it works. I routed it through the Innovate server so we could all watch it through our tablets. <clears throat> and Addison. Why did you make a cat cam? I was curious what my sister's kitty Helix the cat did while I was at school all day. And there's Lazarus. Who's hungry? Oh, did I tell you guys? We have well hired a new chef. It's awesome. Now I'll be able to dedicate more time to Cafe Adam's newest signature blended drink. The Churachino. I was hoping for some applause. PD applause? <gasps> oh no, Michaela, you have your fro you study session with Kyle. Uh, you know what? We're in the middle of a stakeout, and the clock is ticking on Retro's demand, so I think I'm just gonna cancel. No, you're not. For the Quail's request, we're under strict orders to help you maintain your social cover as a normal teenager. Okay, but given the circumstances, I think the Quail would agree. But, 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 but. No cancellations. You can't flake. You need to blend in, like my Churrochino. Get it? Blend in? Still nothing? 
I have no idea what to say to Kyle. I'm good with smart talk, not small talk. You're going to do fine, and I'll be there to help you. You take Addison, and Brian and I will watch the cat cam on our tablet, and we'll let you know if anything exciting happens. 